All right, man. Um, so over there is what I showed you yesterday. Um, in here, I have all my wasps. I mean, most of these I'm not parting with. I'll show you anyway. So we've got transparent, satin transparent, aluminium, black, satin black. Out Fox, that's a rare one with that green badge on it as one of the originals. And red and satin red. And my Target Master. In there, I have here Stinger, which I actually might trade, potentially. Leave what that leave that one out. Got there. I got in PFS. I want to keep that though. nice little PF, PFS frame. Pop him down. So yeah, maybe the stinger. Obviously not my. <laughs> wouldn't mind trading that on if somebody was interested but the cap came off on the bottom but it's a nice little tab tab shoe to that well made at the top here I won't get rid of that though wavy made me that so keep hold of him uh, you got in here that's my ppmg i don't want to get rid of that uh, don't want to get rid of that either. <laughs> it's it's a PR three. That's a fucking great, a lovely little frame. That probably too heavy for you though. Um, that is an outlaw. Potentially trade that with you. That is a, uh, what is it, Dark Destroyer. Potentially trade that too. Uh, but I don't want to lose my brass Lucky 7 there. But there is the aluminium one up for grabs. Go in here. Uh, these are all ones that I made. Might potentially part with that one. Nice little ATT that came out quite nice. Put him there. Another one, same design really, but I prefer this one. It's a bit fatter. It's got a little magnet on it, but didn't really work out. It was just a little idea. That's the same as the other one. So it's got wider tips on it though. So. If you want one of them, you can have one or the other. Uh, yeah, a bit of a difference in the tips there. It's one of my TTFs. It's not the best one. That I didn't do the best job on the grooves, but it's, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. You see they're not quite equal. It pulls up a little bit with my Dremel. But yeah, it's, it's certainly usable. Um, oh, and then that's another one that, of the same design that's just even a bit fatter. But that one, I, this one's real nice. This one shoots. I should shoot this one more actually. Came up lovely that. But yeah, I potentially would part with one of uh, one of those th three OTTs. Maybe even that one. It just if you want. Um, and obviously they're, they're real light really light because they just ply. Um, 
these are all frames made by people I know. Uh, that's an Andy Morn Devo. I'm not gonna wanna, not gonna wanna part with that. That's a special little frame. He did the, he did that for me for for my birthday. So he just sent it without even telling me. It's not perfect. I'm not gonna lie, but it's a good. It is nice, um, sentimental. That's a Thomas Boydell, um, little natty, not too bad. It's nice actually, I just, it's not really my uh, style for fork tips, but I mean, it's perfectly usable. That's Rico Smith, or Isaac Smith, sorry. It's an Isaac Smith, little hoof. Not the best, but it's, not a bad little natty. There's another Andy Maund little pickle fork. Look at that, spalting. And the little recurve on there. Need to repand it. That's lovely. Lovely frame. I won't be, again, I probably won't be parting with that. Um, yeah. That was. I can't remember who made that. Don't really care about that one. You can have that if you want. Got wide, wide fork tips on there. Very wide fork tips for its size. It's another Thomas Boydell. Nice smooth little jobby. Basically a pickle fork, that. And obviously that's my John McDonald, which you ain't getting. <laughs> no way. One of my favourite frames, that. It was one of his first Evos, too. Yep. <clears throat> Last box. This is all Chinese stuff. I'm going to wrap that up and turn that into a little Dan Kung. It's a Dan Kung frame. It's a cheap knockoff one. But yeah, I'm going to wrap him. So, I've not got round to it yet. Make a nice little loop tuber. That, this, you can, you can have that if you want it. It's only a cheapie. Cost about seven pounds. Nice little, Nice little frame though, to be honest with you. It's not bad quality, it's made of resin and the clips are actually really good. Uh, with the little zigzag um, fucking optics and sights are completely pointless really, but they're on there. Cheap little clip frame. This bad boy, again, that, this is nice actually, I should probably fire it more. I'm not much of a one for hammer grip, so I would part with that. Um, it's supposed to have sights, but I don't have them anymore. They've lost them, and it's a little bit, a little bit grubby. But it's again, that's got the interesting clip mechanism on it. That holds real nice. Yeah, and uh, you can adjust the fork gap on this. Yeah, run it along those. Uh, runners and tighten it. This is a nice frame. It's like a it's like a little dang kung with a um, big belly I think they call it. Real comfortable frame. Heavy though, it's quite heavy this is steel. But again, got those really good Chinese clips on it and it's well made this. It is good quality. Again, useless sights on there, but not useless for some, quite a lot of people use them, but that's nice actually. I should, again, I should shoot that more. I'd be open to letting go of that. Little frameless ring shooter as well. Interested in trying that out. That's my lion's mouth. Don't really want to lose that, but again, potentially will do. I'm not very good with it, with the, the peg tips, to be honest with you. So, really, I want to keep it a bit longer. It's got a re it's resin, this as well. Really solid. And it's got a really nice finish on it, too. Lovely. Feels, feel, feels, uh, feels great, that. Uh, <laughs> they get in a little mini Duncan. Uh, what's in there? Uh, 
But uh, yeah, it's one of those. Uh, well, yeah. It's a knockoff. It's a Chinese one. It's one of those bad boys. Don't know if you've seen them about. Well, you can only really distinguish it with that, but they're quite fun and actually quite powerful. Um, it's just a novelty, really. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let me know, man, because I want to get to the post office today with that. That's for your. That's what you. That's for your mate. I'm gonna chuck in a spinner for him as well. Uh, probably put a couple of pouches into. Let's get Hecate in you. Pretty unique little. <laughs> 